It's trial time, baby! For the final time, there'll be no tears from Papa! Nothing but manly heroics will be showed during this episode as I solve the final case! I hate that damn bear with every fiber of my being. And I will make it my mission to put him six feet under! Yes, Papa is fully aware that he's talking to a computer game, but at the same time, he just rustles my jimmy so much! There's been rips, there's been tears, and there's been despair! But it's finally time to get off this roller coaster of emotions and journey towards hope! Officer Body Lover is about to do what nobody on this island could do and solve this case! Either that or we all get ripped. Let's, ho let's hope that doesn't happen, eh? Hey, 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 Ron Rasbowski here, and welcome back to Danganronpa 2 and out, baby! It's time to say goodbye to our lovable series, but at the same time, it is filled with hope as we are to uncover all the truths. See if this series ends off on a cliffhanger. See if this series ends off on a cliffhanger and we don't learn all of the secrets and Papa gonna be salty. Guys, if you're hyped for this video and the finale of this series, then please hit that like button. It really, really is appreciated. Let's shoot for 2,000 likes to end this series off on a bang. And if you're extra spicy hyped, if you're extra in juicy, mm, ever so spicy hyped, put hashtag hope down in the comment section below. And let's dive in, baby. Woo! Oh, deep breaths, Papa, deep breaths, hold it all together because you need to solve this case for humanity's sake. Yeah, humanity's sake, we'll, we'll, we'll go with that one. Put it together and think? What? What? Okay, okay, it looks like we are going to snowboard and logic drive, my favorite part of this whole game. 100%. Okay, snowboarding, baby. Look at these six stunts. Okay, question one. Who were the 15 survivors of Hope's Peak Academy? Um, Makoto and the others, Hajime and the others. It was Hajime and the others. It wasn't Makoto and the others uh, because half of them got ripped. We were the survivors and that's why um, we've been put into this game, this weird place. And now we're in a really weird place ourselves. We're snowboarding in our mind. It still makes no sense to Papa. Question two, who are the remnants of despair? It is Monokuma, Makoto, and the others. It must be Monokuma. It's not, oh, it could be Makoto and the others, actually. Let me get ready to jump across. Let me get ready to jump across. Oh, no, it is. Oh, no. What? Who? Who? Monokuma. Wait, Hajime and the others were the remnants of despair? We are? Wait, I don't understand how we're the remnants of despair. What the hell is going on? Papa confused. Question three. Okay, why were Hajime and the others put into the Neo World program to fill them with despair to recover despair? Um, oh, okay. So we were part of the remnants of despair? That's why we were there? And that's why Makoto doesn't trust us? Okay. Oh, oh, interesting. This is getting good. This is getting real good. Okay, so we were part of the despair? Team? This is interesting. This is gonna get real interesting. Okay. Oh boy, I didn't even think about putting that together that we were actually ba baddies at one point. Could it be? The survivors of Hope's Peak Academy and the remnants of Ultimate Despair are. Yes, both of those phrases refer to you guys. Oh, my gentle hate I, I can't take this. I can't take this madness. We were baddies? We were baddies? Huh? That's right. Not only are you guys the survivors of Hope's Peak Academy, you're also survivors of Ultimate Despair! Too many Christmas! We're all... Ultimate Despair? Don't be stupid! In the beginning, we took in 15 of you as survivors of Hope's Peak Academy. But upon further investigation, we discovered an unbelievable truth. The 15 people we acquired were actually the horrifying remnants of despair! Wow! Us? What is this ultimate despair? I remember hearing that they're dangerous guys who are responsible for terrorism, coup d'etats, and wars. We were all baddies? Yes. They're responsible for the tragedy and brought chaos into the world. Despair in human form, but utterly devoid of humanity. That's what you guys really are. We're monsters? The ultimate despairs don't care about principles or morals. They live solely to torment everything, to burn everything, to kill everything. We were complete and utter monsters? This is ridiculous! I love it! We're what a twist! part of a dangerous group like that? Th that's gotta be a lie! That's right. There's no way. There's no way we're all ultimate despair. Nagito probably did what he did because he managed to learn the unbelievable truth. Whoa! Nagito? Why are you bringing him up all of a sudden? 
He's the only one who knew this truth before you guys. It was a special prize for clearing the final dead room. Whoa, no wonder he suddenly changed. No wonder he disliked us because we were all despair and he is filled with hope boners. He's like such a raging hard on for hope. Is it that file that contained all our student profiles? But inside... Well, he burned a part, didn't he? He said he destroyed a part of it. But unfortunately, there doesn't seem to be any details. Details? Details about our missing memories. Information about the time we spent at Hope's Peak Academy. Hmm. If it's not written in there, these profiles might have been written before we entered the Academy. No. It used to have profiles from after you entered the school. But Nagito destroyed them before you saw it. Wow. Huh? Why? Why do you know something like that? Anyway... It's the absolute truth that the file had profiles about you guys after you entered the school. And after Nagito obtained the file and learned the truth, what did he try to do to you guys? Well, rip us all, didn't he? He actually tried to rip us all, make sure we were all wiped off the face of the planet, and keep Chiaki alive. Nagato learned the truth. What did he try to do to us? He tried to kill us all, didn't he? Are you telling us to answer that? Okay, he, he tried to... Is this Hamang's Gambit again? What?! Another one? I, I, I'm not good at spelling. He tried to kill us, didn't he? He tried to rip us all. He tried to frame us. What's that called? What, how, how, how am I supposed to put this together? What? There are so many letters everywhere. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I just need, I just need another L. I just need another L. Give me an L. Give me an L. Give me an L. Is that an L? L? Yes, it is. There, 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 there. Brilliant, brilliant. Kill us all. He tried to rip us all because he's, he's a nasty piece of work. Although, at the same time, is he really being good? I, I, I don't know. He tried to kill everyone except for the traitor. Because the traitor obviously was working for the Future Foundation. The Future Foundation are meant to be good in some way, shape, or form. Is that what Makoto... Remember, uh, th th there was an email at some point, and Makoto looked like they were going against orders of the Future Foundation to, to, to save the remnants of despair. That's us. He tried to save us. Did he put us in this game? That's right. After seeing the file, he learned that everyone, including him, was ultimate despair. And that's, maybe that's why he has Junko's arm. And he tried to kill everyone except the traitor. Did Nagito try to kill us because we were ultimate despair? Yes, because of his love for hope and his hatred toward despair. I sort of understand that. Feeling. Is it because you're the same voice actor? Don't mess with us. Why do we have to be treated like the bad guys? There must be some kind of mistake. There's no way we're ultimate despair. I don't need a twist like that. I know, tell me about it. It might seem unbelievable because you guys only have memories from before you entered the school. But it all happened at Hope's Peak Academy. You were tainted by ultimate despair because at Hope's Peak Academy, you were in contact with her. Hmm, I wonder who that could be. Her? The true ultimate despair. Junko and Oshima. So she's got in amongst us with her evil tentacles of justice and somehow deformed us. She strongly influenced you all during your time at the school. And that's why you became Ultimate Despair. In order to remove that influence, you've been placed into the Hope Restoration Program. Is that why you took away our school memories? The reason you're able to act like your normal selves is because you're within the Neo World Program. But your true bodies in the real world are different. What do you mean? Is, is it because we mutilated ourselves? Because I remember them talking about that. In the real world, you're part of a group that cruelly destroyed your family, friends, and even your own body. Family, friends, and our own bodies? Aren't you exaggerating a bit? He's right! There's no way we do something like that! Don't turn away from the truth! Huh? What? Wait, what? Oh, yeah, 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 his arm, his arm. <laughs> what? Are we starting to remember? What, 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 what was that just now? A um, memory? But that person, that, 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 that was Nagato, right? Vision of Nagato. Yes, we were talking to him. It was us as Hajime talking to him on the, on, 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 on the boat in that chapter zero? It appears you've remembered a little. Huh? Now, face what you've done. And from there, you will finally take your first steps on the path to hope. <laughs> Wait, what? What? We're gonna new, uh, uh, make your argument? Okay, let's do it. Non-stop debate. Um, reserve tragedy at Hope's Peak Academy. I, I don't know. I literally have no idea. Vision of Nagato. Let's take that. Let's just take that just now and see There's what it's going to say. some kind of mistake. There's no love... way we're ultimate despair. Yeah, true, but there's got to be something else. Because you're all ultimate despair. 
you killed your friends and family. Oh man, that's horrible. That's you a horrible. Even destroyed your own bodies. Yeah, that's true. Vision and I get open sent. Oh, we look, look the same. <laughs> we look the same. It's ridiculous. That memory I felt was actually a memory from the real world. What Nagito did was. Yep. He cut off his own arm and transplanted a woman's arm. Is that Junko's Not arm? Not just any woman's arm. Oh! Junko and Oshima's arm. That's nasty. That's real nasty, boy. You're taking this hope and despair to unmentionable levels. What, what did you say? He probably thought that by becoming one with Junko and Oshima, he could make her survive within him. I, I don't get this at all. The ultimate despairs defy understanding. They have no problem severing their own limbs. I... I am terribly sorry. I do not feel so well. Where's the bathroom? No, oh, Sonya's got the poos. It's just a game anyway, so why don't you just let it out? I'm pretty sure a select few would demand that. Oh dear, that's nasty. Monokuma, don't, don't, don't give my boy any ideas. He doesn't need any encouragement. It's too soon to feel sick. That's not even the worst thing the ultimate despairs have done. What? Oh, what Someone is that? Someone wasted away to skin and bones through continuous fasting in order to reach the despair of starvation. Why would you do that? Others gave their own families to Junko just to perform killing experiments on them. Not just that. After Junko's death, they slaughtered countless people by forcing them to commit suicide. What? One person even implanted one of Junko's eyes into their own socket. Perhaps they wanted to see her despair? And not just that. Some even tried to have children with Junko's dead body. Are you kidding me? Are you actually kidding? People actually- What? How is that despair? How is doing that to a corpse despair? That is- that's beyond disgusting. That is- What? This game is taking a very dark twist. Just stop! That, that's just a bull story. That's obviously bull I really hope so. So you feel despair toward yourselves in the real world. I understand that feeling. Do you? Do you really? Do you, were you really? Do, no, no, you can't. You can't understand what we're feeling because we, we, we did these things, not you. One of us in this room could have made sweet, sweet, passionate love to a corpse, and, and a corpse is probably not intact either, since people took her eyes and limbs off her. But there's no need to worry. If you just advance toward the hope I provide. You'll definitely be safe. Safe from what? Safe from these horrible memories? We're still gonna remember that we made fook to a corpse? Save? You'll save us? Of course. That's my purpose, after all. That's why the Neo World program was created, too. You put us inside this program so that you could save us? Well, he's trying to alter our memories, right? Essentially, your cohabitation inside the Neo World program was just a simulation. If we remove the memories of your time at Hope's Peak Academy, would it also remove your ultimate despair? It seems like it, because none of us felt that ultimate despair. So, you're saying this was like a test? I guess I can say that the test was a success. Even though it deviated greatly from the original plan of graduating after gathering the Hope Fragments, nevertheless, you guys were able to overcome your unexpected trials and make your way here. That's why, all you need to do is choose graduate. If we do that, we could get out of here? However, if you graduate from here, your school memories will never return. But we don't want them. Huh? If you choose to graduate, and the observer determines that there are no problems, you will complete the Hope Restoration Program, and your avatar will be uploaded into your real body. But our body will be messed up, right? Uh, uploaded? It means by uploading our avatar's memories into our bodies, we're also forcibly erasing our past selves. That's why it's called the Hope Restoration Program. So that is the New World Program. Hey, what happens to the people whose avatars die? If an avatar that needs to be uploaded has been deleted, there's nothing we can do. So you're saying they'll never wake up? God damn it. Damn Ahem. Please take a look at this flipbook for a quick rundown of your options. What? What? What now? What? If you choose graduate, it'll transfer your in-game memories, but your school memories will be gone forever. Un 
unfortunately, the people who have already died will not be able to wake up. Okay, that's fine. We understand Just that now. What will happen if we do not choose to graduate? We're stuck in here forever, right? Unless somebody turns the machine off and rips us all. You just have to continue living your tropical life. Oh, well, it's not that bad, right? Hey, why you gotta ask something like that? Well, even if we wake up in the real world, we are all rather messed up, right? If that is the case, then maybe staying on this island is... What are you saying? Well, it depends if we're mutilated our own bodies and we can't remember why we've done it, then maybe it's best to stay here. I understand our reasoning. Haven't we been working this hard just to escape from here? You don't have to force yourself to return to a painful reality. Let's just play this game forever and ever! What's his motive? He's got something on the go, like... Don't be ridiculous. If I stay in this screwed up world any longer, I'm seriously gonna snap. But still... Is it really okay to sacrifice the others just to save ourselves? But they're already gone for you, Hiko. There's no getting them back. You're asking that now? If we don't get out of here now, then what was everything we've done up till now even for? You're right. We've been trying desperately to survive until we can finally leave this place. If we don't get out of here now, all the deaths we've endured will be in vain. I know this, but... <laughs> something's not right. How come Monokuma isn't trying to stop us? Is he just gonna stay quiet and overlook us getting out of this game world? Then, everything Monokuma did would be pointless too. Not only that, is is it really okay for us to believe him? Should we get out or... No, I, I think he's a trap. Stay in, stay in, man. I see. There's a trap here. There's something, something's not up. Wait. Something's not right. Can we have some time to decide? Yeah, something's fishy here. He's right, he's right. Why is Monokuma not trying to stop us? Monokuma should be doing everything in his power for us to stay in this game. I'm not sure that that Makoto is the real Makoto. I think there's something else here. I think... I think what we've learned from Makoto is a lie. I think it's complete BS. And I think we're trying... This is the ultimate despair here. We had the hope of almost getting out with this. We had the hope of Makoto coming to save us. And then the ultimate despair crashes down. We're told that we are the ultimate despair. I think it's a lie. I think this, I think this is complete BS. Did you get scared like Sonia? No, it's something else, ma'am. No, it's not that. Don't you think this is a little strange? Strange? You still don't understand? Normally, ultimate despairs like you guys would just be abandoned. But I'm telling you, I'm here to help. You should be thankful for how open-minded the Future Foundation is. Nah, no, something's up, ma'am. Makoto, what has happened to you? Yeah, he's forceful, man. Just listen to the Future Foundation. The Future Foundation is the world's hope, you know? I knew it. So I thought, there's something wrong with you. Yeah. Yeah, there's something wrong. There is something up here, baby. Make your argument. What we got this time? Uh, tragedy, killing school, life, remnants of despair, listen, subject, academy, founder, email to N Makoto Nayegi. Yes, yes, I yes, because I'm he betrayed them. You guys. He betrayed them, didn't he? Why aren't you listening to me? Because he betrayed. Because he betrayed them. Says and get out of here. No, 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 no. He betrayed the them. Foundation's the good guys, right? Mm, we don't know that. And we don't know that. We are actually the bad guys. Uh, something's not right, man. Trying to trust him, right? Something's the not. The future up. foundation is the world's hope. No one can defy the future foundation. Oh, you did. You defied them. You defied no, them. That's wrong. Literally, you did. Yeah. Oh, we're getting this. This is interesting. This is spicy. Hold on. Did you say it's foolish to defy the future foundation? Because, uh, boom, we have an email that contradicts your statement, boy. You've just been lawyered. Then how do you explain your actions? My actions? Yeah. I saw it. The email that the future foundation sent to you. To the future foundation, 14th division, Makoto Naegi. Where are you guys? What, what are you doing right now? What you're doing is a serious act of treason. Do you understand? Why are you protecting the remnants of despair? It should be abundantly clear to you how dangerous it is to keep these people alive. Stay calm and think about this carefully. You guys are being lied to. Think carefully about what's important to bring the light of hope to the world. The six of you joined the Future Foundation because you agreed with our ideals, right? The Future Foundation rescued you from the tragedy you survived and helped you recover your memories. Immediately return the remnants of despair to our headquarters. Unless we eliminate them, the tragedy will never end. Everything is for the sake of a hope-filled future. 
Okay, you've been schooled, boy. Makoto Naegi defied the future foundation to protect the remnants of despair, which clearly contradicts what this person is saying. Exactly, boy, you've been schooled. Huh? Is that email for real? A future foundation tried to kill us? Hold on, we'll deal with that later. Hey, Monokuma, those clues we found were all real, right? Good, a question, Akane. I like it. You think it'll be a front tail? Yes! <laughs> And that's not the only contradiction, but this Makoto person is saying also contradicts what we've already been told. What part? Oh, by this guy! Essentially, I cannot guarantee that there are no issues with this program. To tell you the truth, I wasn't sure whether or not to run the program on you guys. But this was the only way to save you. I wanted to protect you. To me, those words seemed much more... real. If so, the person in front of us is... Tell me, Makoto Naegi. Who are you? A virus. Gotta be the virus. Who is he? Simply put, he's Makoto Naegi, who's known for being a cutie patootie. Bless you, Marakuma, you cutie. I'm not asking you. I'm asking you, insolent fool. If you're saying he's not Makoto, then show me some proof. Now he's getting riled up. We're on the right path. Damn it, he's trying to interfere. Then... To prove whether Makoto Naegi is real or not, I'm gonna have to shove that in his face! Please, Hajime, this is a family-friendly channel, do not be putting that in his face! Panic talk action? Oh, okay! Here we are! Let's do it then! It's time to go down, buddy! Oh, oh, shh! Leon, oh, one... There's... that's it, right? That's it, right? Yes! Yes, we're gonna use the secret code! We gotta use the secret code on him! Use that 11037 code! Makoto Naegi... If that's who you really are. Then tell me this. Why did you make the password to Nezumi Castle? 11037. Okay, okay, okay. So the real reason, the real reason is because it was his friend who got ripped in the first game. They left the code behind their body to give us a clue over who the killer was. So this is why he did it. Yes, you don't know. You don't know. Um, what was that again? Oh, it's easy, baby. You're wrong. Can't answer. That's weird. Wait, you... Where'd you find that out? Oh, you would know. Who cares? So how about it? Can you even answer? Oh, ho, 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 ho. oh man, I've been found out. So who is it? Found out? Then you're. <laughs> how disappointing! And I thought I was on the right track. Oh dear. Nope, you're not, baby. Get out of here. He disappeared. Yeah, it's all part of the despair, man. It's all part to make us feel despair. Hey! Really. That guy disappeared! Why are you surprised? It's a computer program. So anything's possible, right? Th then... That was just the work of Monokuma? He's a tricky bear, that son of a gun is! Shame on you, Monokuma. Shame on you! Aww, you found out I was faking! This is so embarrassing! I just want to kill myself! Oh, really? What are you doing? Why'd you show us a fake member of the Future Foundation? Because he's trying to wreck us! That fake was trying to get us out to the real world. Then that's your plan? Is that where your trap is? Man, they saw right through me! I may as well be invisible. What's he up to, man? A trap? What kind of trap did you set? Hey, if you know what's good for you, you better hurry the hell up and confess. I'll beat you half to death if you tell us now. But if you don't spit it out soon, I'm just gonna kill ya! I don't think you can. He's like an invincible son of a gun virus. Just kill him right now! Then this nightmare can finally end! But he's got like a million different bodies. We've already seen that. Violence is not allowed! This isn't that kind of game! It's a much smarter game, right? Right! What game? This game is already over! This game... is over? No, no, no! I'm not gonna let you finish yet! There's no way this can end before I've even transformed! What? Tra transform A transformation is customary in a final boss battle, right? You know, like that one role-playing game? What one? You know what game I'm talking about. Final... Fantasy? Don't say it! Now then! Allow me to show you. I'll skip the second and third forms and go straight to my final form. Oh, I don't like this. You better not be bluffing. I'm going to beat the crap out of you and pull all your stuffing out. I love it. Oh, no, he's actually transforming. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. 
What? I have a bad feeling about this. Like the inside of my brain is burning, sizzling, a really, really bad feeling. Is he just gonna get ripped again like he did before? Now then, make sure you burn this ginormous despair you're about to see into your memories. See if you show off your bear dick, I'm not gonna be happy. Do you need to go to the bathroom, buddy? Because I'm really nervous about your bowels. I'm gonna die! Yeah, please go to the bathroom. And use the cart if see flush as well, please, because I reckon that's gonna be a stinky howler of a... Uh... What the hell? What the hell? No, 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 no way! What the hell has just happened? Them jiggle physics. Chun goes back, baby. That's not good. That's not good. You gotta take a picture of me. You need permission first. Oh dear. Oh dear lord. Chun goes back. So this is what you were waiting for. This is what you're holding out for. Junko to appear. Oh. What's going on? Uh, am I hallucinating? Nope, nope, you're not. I, I know anything goes here, but this? This is clearly not okay. Are you telling me there, Kazuichi? I see. So that's your reaction to seeing an extra large high school girl. Um, okay. Uh, how do I react to this? Do I. Do, do I talk about your jiggle? So, are they really that big? Don't you think they're pretty small? Oh, uh, but I, I, I didn't, I, I, I didn't mean to. I, I, I wasn't, I wasn't looking there. I was, I was, I was, the hair, the hair, the way the hair bounces. I wasn't talking about anything else, okay? Your pigtails are massive. I'm not talking about anything else, please, please. This is ch child friendly. She's huge. She's way too huge. Hmm? But the final boss in a certain action game is much bigger. You know, that game, Knifeerella. Never heard of it. Said it anyway. Knifeerella. <laughs> Poppy's, Poppy's gonna have to Google that for, for research purposes, just to understand the reference for nothing else. Okay, so I couldn't actually find anything online. I, 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 I promise you, if I had found something, it would have been on the screen. I need a shower now. I feel dirty. Oh, really? That I shot. See, I see. An estimated bus size of 15 meters, huh? My boobs are hopelessly huge. What has happened to this game? Hey, hey, want me to squish you in between them? Big boobs feel good, you know. I'm sure they do. Yep, yep. I get crushed! <laughs> you need to count down, Kazuichi, please. If this was a pandering fan service game full of pretty girls, there'd be a CG close up of my cleavage. But. I think there was. Too bad. This isn't a fan service game. Of course, since it's not an action game either, you won't even get to experience the refreshing sensation of battling an enormous final boss. That's true. <laughs> so hopeless. Oh yeah, no, now I actually filled with despair because that would have been pretty. No, what am I saying? This is Monokuma's true identity. We, we have to deal with this thing. I'm shocked you'd call me this thing. Oh, you're so mean. Um. Is it just me, or did her personality change? Yes, Sonya's changed about four times already, love. I get easily bored of my personality. Like, I already got bored of my personality who gets easily bored. Wow. And that's when Fuyuhiko would say, It's too damn soon to say you got bored, right? Yeah. What? I have plenty of data on you guys, so it's so easy for me to know what you're all thinking. I love this character. I, I love her. She's brilliant. You, you are not bored at all. I got bored of getting bored. Jeez. Even when I'm dead, I still get bored. This sucks. You could say you're dead bored, am I right? Even when you're dead? Does that mean... Is this person's true identity? Jun Junko and Hoshima? It has to be. I see. It has to be. We already knew that. Why are you even giving me an option? Are you... Junko and Oshima? Did you say Junko and Oshima? Isn't she dead? No, no. Yes, yes, she is. It's true. I did end up dying the last time. Uh, I'm sorry, okay? I didn't mean to go so fast. I, I couldn't help.
help it, you know? It was my first time. You're just so full of innuendos, aren't you? Jeez, stupid. You're the one who made me go. And why is someone who died here right now? Do you guys know about an artificial intelligence called Alter Ego? Yes. Huh? Exuberance! We are now an AI! We have transcended humanity! How did you become an AI? What AI? Stop saying all this crazy bull It's not crazy, buddy. We've got the deets. You see, my personality is like this because I'm the type who dies easily, right? That's why I made my own AI program while I was still alive. You're a genius. And then someone uploaded me into this Neo World program. Ah, you're the virus. I and get that's it. That's how Alter Ego Junko hopelessly appeared in front of you guys. That's insane. This insane <laughs> to Junko in Ashima? She's responsible for everything. The destruction of Hope's Peak Academy. The destruction of the world. The one who took over the Neo World program and forced us to kill each other. It was all this <laughs> she's doing. Even so, what am I supposed to do? Even if we know she's Junko and Ishima. cautious and think stuff like, what can we do? I mean, we're all ultimate despair here. What? Each and every one of our classmates looked at us like we're a bunch of loogies on the side of the road. So, let's all be friends. What? Hell no. Man, they hate me. Well, you do have mushrooms on your head for a start. And second of all, you made us rip each other, you crazy b And I was thinking of you guys when I tampered with the graduation program. But they still hate me. What do you mean, thinking of us? This is creepy. Huh? Tampered with the graduation program? Remember what that fake Makoto said earlier? About what happens to you when you graduate, right? Yeah. I feel like you guys weren't getting a big enough reward for graduating. So, I decided to modify what happens so it's something exciting and unique. Just like a game. What do you mean? What have you done? What have you done? Uploading your game memories into your real bodies is fine, but letting your friends stay dead just sucks. Oh, that's true. That's why I decided to resurrect them. What? How can you do that? This is the new graduation program I'm offering. What's the catch? What's the catch here, Junko? You... Resurrect? Hey, are, are you serious? Can you really do that? It was like real hard, you know? The graduation program is the core part of this game, so it was protected with a lot of encrypted codes. It took me a long time. I felt so much despair about how useless I am. Well, one advantage of being an AI is that I got smarter with computers. Before that, every time a computer froze, I used to put it in the microwave and nuke it. You're an angry little thing. Show of hands, class. How long do you think it took for me to modify it? Um, uh, teacher, I think it was probably the countdown timer that you had installed in that big bomb looking like thing. Who cares about that? Are you serious when you say that everyone who died will come back to life? Fuyuhiko, my man, don't fall for this. Did you forget? You gotta answer questions to progress the story. That's the rule of this game, right? By the way, I'll give you a clue. You guys were always watching time slip away at a certain point. Yeah, of course. So you're not gonna tell us until we answer that? Well, we know what it is. We're completely at our mercy. But if we can't progress unless we answer, we have no choice but to answer. Okay, how long it took for Junko and Ashima to modify the graduation program? She said we were watching how long it took. If so, that certain place we were watching was, um, Jabberwock Park. I see. Of course it was. We the saw the big town down. Jabberwock Park. That's the only place we can think of. That's the only place we consistently watch that has anything to do with time. Then that countdown represented the time that was needed to modify the program. How brilliantly wrong! What? <laughs> You're totally wrong about that tricky timer. Oh. Well, that's disappointing. Wrong? Then what was it? How should I put this? I was just... Goofing around? Really? Huh? I mean, isn't stuff you don't understand exciting even though you don't get it? It's kind of like superhero cosplayers or someone else's designs of alien life and stuff, right? It, it was just for show? In the end, it was meaningless. Does that fill you with despair? Like getting booted from a game server? No, it's just a little dis disappointing. I wouldn't say despair. You know those murder mysteries where the culprit is really the detective who's investigating the murder? Well, I'm so over predictable crap like that. Just what did you expect at this stage of the game? Mm, that's true. She's 
She seriously messed up. Well, in a way. The countdown implied I was on a mission. Did you ever make up your own silly rules, like don't step off the white line when you cross the road? Yeah, totally! I was testing myself to see if I could get you guys into the graduation program before the timer reached zero. Enough! Please stop! Don't be so disappointed. It's totally true. I had a hard time manipulating the program. While you guys were at the beach making wrinkly dog faces, I was working so hard on my own, you know? Hey, enough of this pointless crap! Are you seriously going to resurrect everyone who died? Like I said, it's easy. It's just a game after all. Just a game. Yeah. Each and everything that happened in this world was just an event within the game. There's no way anything that occurred in the game could affect the real world. What you're saying now is completely different from what you said before. You said whether or not it's a lie. The moment you feel something is real, it becomes real. The game where you throw my words back at me is over. So you don't really have to worry about it. Really? I think we were still going to contradict you, girl. I won't worry about it. Hey, who cares about logic? As long as everyone who died comes back to life, that's good enough. But you're believing her. That doesn't make sense, buddy. But if we do not understand the principles behind it, then we do not even know if it is really possible. Exactly. Anything goes in this world. You've seen that happen so many times already, right? Yeah, it doesn't mean, mean that she's telling the truth, though. Well, if a high school girl can get huge, then it's not crazy if the dead can come back to life, right? No, it's completely different. If she's saying that's how she tampered with the computer program, how are we supposed to respond to that? That's right. That's why you should finish this game and go back to living a normal life in the real world. No, you're still trying to make us go out, and I don't understand why. If we go back, what do you get out of it? Hmm. What benefit do you get by making us return to the real world? As long as we don't know what it is. Wait. Man, so annoying. You're so petty. It's not like you're a housewife living on a tight budget. Okay, uh, scathing remarks aside. Is she trying to get herself downloaded into one of the bodies? So she's got all these other bodies that she can go into. This, remember there was something to do with five people surviving. That's still not been worked out yet, and I don't know why that is such an important number. But she trying to, now she has fully solved all of her stuff, and she, she has appeared within the game. Can she download her mind into one of these new bodies, so she ha now has a new body? Is that what she's trying to do? All I want is to put on this graduation performance in a more dramatic way. That's no, just dramatic, all right? Well, if you doubt me, you don't have to go back. Is that what you want? Not to go back? Oh, hold on a sec. We're obviously going to get out of here. If it'll bring our dead friends back, it's all we can do. Of course! We've been working toward that goal for, like, forever! Because we had that goal, we were able to endure those killings. Plus, everyone can go back together. So there's no reason to hesitate. Yeah, you are right. There is no way we can choose to stay here after all we've been through. Just as expected from the winners of this killing school trip. Your will to live is truly ultimate. Wonderful. That's just more reason for you to execute your role as devices. What? Devices? Okay, now let's stop stalling for time with exposition and hurry up and do it. Okay. Now then, why don't you guys just go ahead and answer with the touch panel that's in front of you? I'm gonna do it. I'm seriously gonna do it. If you don't hurry up, I'm seriously really gonna do it. Do what? You don't have to say, who are you talking to? It doesn't concern a chump like you, Hajime. Oh, okay. Ch chump? Yeah. Don't worry about it. Everything's gonna be over once we press this. No, she's forcing us to press it. We need to think about this. There's just something not right here. There's something completely suspicious here. We can't just go around pressing buttons willy-nilly. We just can't turn people on so like that. We just have to press graduate, right? If we do that, we can go home, right? I can go back. With this, I can finally go back. He's right. With this, we can finally go back. This will be the end. And our friends who died will be saved. That's way beyond what we expected. Then, it's safe to say that this is the good ending, right? Don't press anything. Hey, what are you doing? It's the side of my majority vote, so don't think about it and just press graduate. Don't you want to go back home? I don't care if you want to stay here, but don't drag us into it. What? I can go back. Okay, okay, okay. Let's, let's, let's press the button. I'm, 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 uh, it's not the good ending. Press repeat. Repeat! Hey, that's the repeat button. Don't you get it? If you press that, we're stuck here, you know? You better not start saying we're better off staying here. So, I'm, I'm forced. I, I literally have to press 
We're leaving? Really? I have to press it. Press graduate. Oh Whoa! Makoto! This is Jugo's trap! That's what I was trying to do all along, but it wouldn't let me! Huh? What the heck? That guy from earlier is back again. It's not again. This time, it's the real one. Real? I'm Makoto Naegi. Makoto Naegi of the Future Foundation. Oh, you better be real this time, because I'm not messing about with any more games, you know what I'm saying? This guy is the real Makoto Naegi? Then this is the guy I spoke to. I'm sorry I'm late. I actually wanted to come rescue you sooner, but thanks to the virus infecting the Neo World program, I wasn't able to enter. Just when the chumps are in a pinch, he's suddenly able to enter for reasons unknown. You were distracted, maybe? And thus, the main character gallantly appears. <laughs> so cool! <laughs> I'm drooling! <laughs> so, so much! <laughs> Is she a fangirl now? Did you also time my arrival? No, it doesn't matter. I'm going to save everyone. And then I'm going to settle this between us once and for all. You do it, Makoto. I'm drooling. I can't stop my leaking. Oh, Chimney Christmas. How were you able to get here, Makoto? Since I used my tricks to hack into the program, he must have hacked in with his tricks too, right? That's also how you kept your memories, right? Even though you haven't aged a day, just like these guys. If I hadn't, then I wouldn't have been able to save everyone. Don't you understand? It doesn't matter how you got here. As long as you're here, you'll be treated like one of my students. But you're not the teacher. Which means, you must respect my authority. Oh, hell no, Junko baby, you ain't getting past me. I already know the risks of being here. You always had such reckless hope. I love you so much that you disgust me. Wow. And just what do you mean by trap? What is Junko's trap? It doesn't matter. We can finally end this, you know? If we get out of here, it'll all resolve itself peacefully. I'm not sure. After all this, I can't let you get in the way. The fact that you guys are even thinking like that is Junko's trap. Huh? She's lying to you about your dead friends coming back to life. Really? I didn't know that. Hey, little old me. Yes. Who do we trust? If you knew Junko's true goal, you'd know she's lying. Well, ex explain! You know her goal? Yeah. Junko's goal is to convert the Hope Restoration Program to the Despair Restoration Program. The Despair Restoration Program? As part of the graduation program, your avatar's memory and consciousness is uploaded into your real body. However, none of us expected that any of the avatars would get deleted. Junko has taken advantage of that opportunity. She intends to use her version of Alter Ego, the AI she stole my friend's skill to create, and upload herself into the bodies of everyone whose avatar was deleted. I, I, that's what I said! What? I just didn't expect her to do it to all the bodies. Then, everyone who died isn't gonna come back to life. Well, in a sense they will, but just for Junko's brain. You're gonna be taken over by Junko? What the f Like the real world, once an avatar is deleted from this virtual world, it can't be recovered. It's actually impossible to revive them. That doesn't mean I was lying, you know? I just didn't make some things clear. And even if they're overwritten by my alter ego, it doesn't mean they'll be a completely different person. It does. The data of everyone who died is stored within me, so I'm sure I can convincingly act out their personalities. What? Don't mess with me. In fact, I have a lot of data on Fuyuhiko. So, I know some things that'll make you happy. Oh dear. You can play a version of Peko that's more to your liking than she ever was. <laughs> okay. Shit. Don't mess with me! <laughs> Operation Junkify All Mankind begins here! Junkify All Mankind? After uploading my alter ego into everyone who died, I'm gonna take over the Future Foundation's headquarters. And oh then, no. Eventually, there's gonna be a whole lot of me's all over the world. With this, my despair utopia, where you can despair as you please, Junko Land, will be complete. She's crazy. She's absolutely crazy. That's Operation Junko Fi All Mankind in a nutshell. Oh yeah. Our dreams are expanding and That messed up plan is your goal? Then why didn't you just kill all of us? If you did, you could have taken over all of our bodies. 
Wouldn't that have been more convenient for you? Yeah! Is that what you want me to do? Is it still too late to do that? No. There's a reason Junko couldn't do that. That's why she made you guys kill each other. The reason she wasn't able to do that? Was it because there was something she didn't do? If so, then the reason is she didn't have a real body, she was sealed away, there wasn't enough time. The school trip's rules! I see! Because she was a teacher, she couldn't harm us? I got it. It's because of the school trip's rules. Because she was an overseer. Even a monster like her has to follow the rules of the school trip? Junko usurped Usami's authority as an observer, and her role as your teacher. However, according to the rules of the school trip, even Usami had to follow up. That's nice. why when Junko took over her position, she had no choice but to follow the rules as well. Mm hmm, clever. The lead teacher cannot directly interfere with the students, an exception to this rule, blah, blah, blah. So, the rules were protecting us? Thankfully. Man, I was so annoyed. I had the authority to add rules, but no authority to delete rules. Oh well, even if I could have deleted rules, I was still busy with my whole taking over your bodies plan. So you made us kill each other, because you couldn't kill us yourself. Then, is that how you were able to increase the number of bodies you can take over? Like I said, I personally didn't care about the outcome of the killings. How dare you look down on us? Don't me. What about our lives? Chump change. Excuse me? I... I won't forgive you. I will never, ever forgive you! So that's your trap. You tried to make us choose graduate. So you can take over everyone's body with the graduation program. Yep, that's what I said earlier on, but I didn't realize you take over all the bodies. That's crazy. How... How can you be so cruel? Because Junko Enoshima is the true ultimate despair. She doesn't yearn for any kind of future at all. She fills every person she meets with despair. That's my Makoto. You understand me so well. For me, despair is not a goal or a set of principles or a lifestyle or even an instinct. It's what defines me as Junko Enoshima. It's just my characterization. That's why I'm able to pursue despair with such purity. So you're saying you only exist to fill people with despair? For example, want to hear about a beautiful memory that even I, who gets bored easily, still remember fondly? Uh, oh, oh, okay, story time with Junko. Picture thousands of fools who are madly in love with me, dying one by one like insects doused with bug spray. Okay, that's not so nice. And the best part is... They did it to themselves, you know? That's really not nice. Thousands of humans falling like dominoes! Oh, that memory is so beautiful! It made my brain melt! Yeah, about that. Does that story have a happy ending? Could it be... Is she talking about them right now, the reserves course students? I see! Are you talking about the reserve course's mass suicide? Oh, man. This is where we're about to find out the true identity of Hajime right now. We're about to find out his true identity, and it's not going to be nice, is it? Oh, yeah. I totally forgot you're a survivor of the reserve course. By the way, I'm so sorry for your loss. Thank you. I care deeply for them. M m mass suicide? What's she talking about? An incident where 2,357 people from the reserve course all killed themselves. Junko probably made them do it. 2,357 people? That's an outrageous number! You don't have to be that surprised. You all look like your parents, friends, and lovers all died at once. And technically they did, because you told us we ripped them all. Uh, that was so rude of me. There's no way you guys even have meaningful relationships like that anymore. I mean, wow. you're all ultimate despair. You guys have already eaten your fill of despair. I... I do not really know what you are trying to say. Junko robs the futures of everyone she interacts with. You ultimate despairs are among her many victims. So we are actually ultimate despairs then. If someone like me is born, that means the world is yearning for despair. That's wrong. The world isn't yearning for despair. That's the reason we can't let you escape. But if you do that, you guys won't be able to return to the real world, right? Huh? If we choose graduate to get out of here, the graduation program will activate, right? If that happens, Junko's alter ego will be uploaded into the bodies of the dead. Does that mean we gotta stay here to keep her from getting out? Well, what the heck? 
Why does it have to be like that? It's such a cruel fate for you guys. But it's awfully convenient for the Future Foundation. I, 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 I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Does, 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 does nobody have an antivirus program that can just run here and wipe her out? I mean, it's simple. You just download EVG online, it's free, and, and, and wipe her ass out. You'll be able to keep all the ultimate despairs, including me, trapped in this game forever. Wrong! That's not it! But ultimate despair is hated worldwide, and their lives are no doubt targeted by the Future Foundation. Oh well. If you don't want to acknowledge that, I guess it just can't be helped. Can't be helped. <laughs> LOL. This is nothing to LOL about. Exactly. But it's so ironic. You came all the way here just to find out that graduating is the wrong choice. Even though you came all this way to win the game. Even though you kept sacrificing your friends to win. <sighs> the goal you guys squirmed to reach was wrong all along. Isn't that just so f***ing tragic? Stop it! It was all a mistake? Was this really just a mistake? Was it a mistake to think we could go home alive all along? What about the killings in the class trials? Was this just a meaningless killing game where the ultimate despairs killed each other off? That... This is just... Don't <laughs> give up yet! What? There is a way you guys can get out of here without letting Junko out! Okay, big dog, why didn't you told us about 10 minutes ago? Huh? No, no, there's no way such a convenient- There is? Really? Well, that's the first I've heard of it. First she's heard of it? Then, it's a way even Junko doesn't know, right? The way to get out uh, that Junko doesn't know about, it might be that! Oh, shutdown sequence, it was literally below the one I wanted, right? Yeah, if I just thought about it instead of just ripping it off early, it would have been- Are you talking about the shutdown sequence? Shutdown sequence? What is that? It's a hidden command I set up in the Neo World program. H hidden command? Basically, I never believed the Neo World program was a perfect solution. Mako was smart, I like it. It was always a possibility that Usami's hope might have made things even worse for you guys. What? So I prepared a way to shut down the program in case of emergencies. As I recall, you said it was a command that not even the teacher can stop. And that means even Junko can't stop it. Dear me. I have an unfortunate announcement to make, class. You cannot activate the shutdown. What? Why? Huh? You... You know about it? More importantly, do you know why? Do you know why you can't activate the shutdown? Oh yeah, we've not got enough people. I, I remember. We've not got enough people. The reason the shutdown sequence can't be activated... Um, not enough people. I see. That's what the glitch part was. Or because the glitch part of the text. There's not enough people? <laughs> Pay attention, class. According to my information, in order to initiate the shutdown, out of 15 people, more than half of them must press graduate and repeat at the same time. Am I correct? However, out of 15 people, including Makoto, there are only six people here. So, there's 10 on the other side. Even if you want to cheat, I won't let ya. The shutdown sequence won't activate unless it knows that different people initiated it. So it's totally impossible. That's not good. You totally saw through that supposedly hidden command? No need to worry. Even I knew we couldn't activate the shutdown. Okay, well, obviously, but why? What was your plan? You still came here when you knew we had no chance of winning? It's not that we have no chance of winning. The only reason I'm here is because there is a chance. Then try explaining it to us. What is this chance of winning of which you speak? I believe... Oh, uh, I can't hear you. You gotta speak up since you're so puny. I believe in them. I believe they will definitely come. Who? Are you talking about your your former mates? You're five of them. So five. So five plus six is eleven. That's more than enough, right? Them! Your old mates! Oh, they are! You need to take your time saying. Ah, hell yes! Hell yeah, they came! The real to me. Try putting yourself in our shoes before you drag us into situations like this. My boy! Chiyoko! Byakuya! I knew you guys would come. So, okay, 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 six, that, that's eight. That's enough, right? That's enough. Kyoko, Biakuya. We're better off leaving behind someone who jumps to conclusions without listening to our warnings. Oh, this is so good. This is so damn good, yo. I love it. I love this game. It's, it's, it's incredible. I, I, I am filled with awe and hope and everything. I, I'm sorry. 
Even though it took some time for two people to enter the program simultaneously, it appears we made it. Yes, you did, Kyoko! Hey, what's going on? Why are there more people again? Well, we need numbers to shut down everything, don't we? How exciting! I haven't seen these faces in ages! It's like opening your high school yearbook ten years later. I must say, now that I'm seeing her up close, She's much bigger than I remembered. I love you, Saz. What? What kind of man isn't excited by big women? Once you gain some more experience, you'll understand. The Saz? There's a lot of kinky things you can do with big girls. Your mini Christmas. Shut up. Miyakuya, you're alive. But you're so skinny now. I feel so bad for you. What? You shut up, too. Um, <laughs> are you two also from the Future Foundation? No, it's probably not just that. The six of you joined the Future Foundation because you agreed with our ideals, right? The Future Foundation rescued you from the tragedy you survived and helped you recover your memories. Tragedy. If the Killing School Life is referring to that... You guys are the survivors of the Killing School Life who previously defeated Junko, right? Yeah, that's right. The there's three of them here now? Yep, where are the other three? The former heroes plunging themselves into the game world, ignoring all danger. Just to get rid of you, you psychotic gimp. Jeez, stupids! Making such a suicidal move! Did you really want to see me that badly? It can't be helped. In order to stop you, that suicidal move was our only choice. I love it. So how about it? There are eight people now. We have enough to activate the shutdown sequence. Why are you crying? <laughs> you guys showed up looking all cool and stuff. And now, all the ultimate despairs. <laughs> They'll be treated like even bigger chumps. Why? Chump, you said it again. Just ignore her. As long as we activate the shutdown sequence, it'll be the end of her in this messed up world. And this messed up world? Hey. Can I ask you something? If we do shut down the program, what will happen to us? No need to worry. We won't let you get hurt. What does that mean? It's not just that. We want a more detailed explanation. For once, I'm with Kazuichi. If you shut down the Neo World program, everything within the program will be deleted. It will obviously delete Alter Ego Junko, along with your avatars here. So you're saying we're going to be deleted too? It doesn't mean you'll be deleted. The program will just finish without completing the graduation program. What? What does that mean for us? Your avatars will not upload. So you will revert to your original state before you entered the program. So we'll forget that this game even existed? Huh? Is there a reason to tell them all that? Yes! They have to know everything, or else they won't agree to do it. Hold on a second. If we go back to our original selves before we entered the program... We'll be all the ultimate despairs. If we're gonna go revert to our old selves before we enter the program, revert to the ultimate despairs. I see. D does that mean we'll go back to being ultimate despair? That's right. Back to being hopelessly controlled by me. When you used to feel despair upon despair. Holy crap. No. Are, are you fucking serious? Can't you do anything about it? Junko's got us trapped. Absolutely and utterly trapped. I understand your concern. But this is the only way to stop Junko. No, we'll just stay in this game. Stay in this game for FCs, it's fine. It might be a painful decision, but I know you guys will be able to overcome it. That's why, in order to defeat Despair, I want you guys to fight alongside us. We still have to fight? I... I thought we finally reached the end! Don't worry. Once you get out, we will do our best to support you. But I thought the Future Foundation wanted to kill every last Ultimate Despair. For this reason, the remnants of despair must be immediately eliminated once they are discovered. When you say support, do you mean I'll make sure you don't suffer when I kill you, or...? Of course not. We would never allow that to happen. I bloody hope so. It's gonna be alright. Your real bodies have just been brainwashed. That's why I'm pretty sure you'll quickly revert back to the state you're in right now. But how? How is that possible? Can you stop saying cheesy stuff like brainwashed? Washing your brain is, like, really nasty. But, but still, even if our brainwashing is undone, 
the memories we've made up till now will be erased, right? Does that mean we'll completely forget everything we did on this island? I don't want that. It doesn't matter what you want. That's the reality. Every meaningless thing that happened here will vanish from your minds. Meaningless? Vanish? Does that include her too? If we lose our memories of this world, we're also going to forget she ever existed, right? If that happens, does it really mean that that she, an existence confined to this world, is really going to disappear? She risked her life to protect us, and we won't even remember she existed! Memory's not all that'll go back to normal. If you've lost a limb, like Nagito, it'll still be gone when... <gasps> Please stop! Going back to reality in that condition, that's like a bad joke. We're not joking. That is your past. Nobody can escape their past. We don't know anything about that past! Hey! Why? Why did we become ultimate despair in the first place? I asked the same thing in the real world, but nobody would give me an answer. It seems my teachings were quite thorough. However, if you ask me... People who claim to stuff like hope, talent, or admiration are truly the weakest. Huh? Guys who desperately want to reach the top. They don't think about what'll happen when they're pushed off. They're probably too concerned with having a really nice view while they condescend to others. Oh dear. Shoving off guys like that is so easy. <laughs> I happen to know 17,082 ways to do that. The point is, the moment you cling to talent and hope, despair has already set in. That's not even an explanation. Then, what if you think about it like this? It turns out that you guys being ultimate despair was just part of the game world. What? And in truth, those guys from the Future Foundation might be part of the game world too. What? They're simply side characters of the game world whose role is to offer hopeless hope to you guys. Well, after saying all that, I don't even know what's real and what's a game anymore. Are you kidding around? Enough. My patience is wearing thin. Let's hurry and start the shutdown sequence already. Before you do that, we gotta do some reviewing. What? Don't make me do this whole thing with all the evidence. What? <clears throat> when you guys activate the shutdown, you'll revert back to when you were known as Ultimate Despair. Right. And your dead friends will never be revived. Well, they weren't anyway. And the embodiment of despair, aka me, will be erased, thereby preserving hope in the real world. Now then, will the hope of the Future Foundation win, or will my despair win? Alright! Things are starting to heat up! This isn't a game, you know. Au contraire. This is a game. The game of hope and despair that started with your killing school life. That explains why these chumps who weren't around last time have been reduced to mere side characters. You, you called us chumps again! Only because it's true! Can we punch her? Can we punch her? Yeah, I want to punch her. I want to punch her more than the little girl I want to punch her. Most importantly, the killing school trip wasn't just for your sake. Huh? There was a more important goal there. The goal of luring a specific group of people. What? Ah, since now's a great time, why don't we make that the question? Question? Oh dear. As long as we're in the game world, the rules say I gotta ask questions every now and then. <laughs> so, question. Who did I lure and how did I do it? The hint is, I get bored easily, so the same outcome as the killing school life would be a pain in the ass. You don't want to lose. You don't want to lose. Okie dokie. Let's all think about it together. You tried to lure the, the, the survivors, didn't you? Same outcome as the killing school life. Do I ha just have to remember what occurred there? The people Junko lured. The method. I should try connecting those dots. There should be an answer there. Oh no, not the- I thought I was done with the snowboarding! Why? Why do I have to snowboard? This is my least favorite game! Question 1. Who did Junko Enoshima want to lure? The Ultimate Despair, Hope's Peak Academy... What? Hope's Peak Academy Headmaster? The Future Foundation? I'm guessing the Future Foundation- Oh, the, oh it might be the Ultimate Despair, actually! She wanted to lure the Ultimate Despair. She wants us back alive? Is that what it is? I'm about to find out. I was wrong! <laughs> I was right with my first initial thoughts. Question two. What bait was used to lure the Future Foundation? The killings, Junko herself. Um, the killings? Probably. Well, I've got no choice now. I've got no choice but to go with the killings. 
I'm guessing it's that because then they would understand that the, the game's the same or Junko's gonna be here or whatever. Okay, we got that one right. Hell yeah. Just gotta do these crazy puzzles now. Question three. Okay, what did Junko use to uh, force them to watch the, ca uh, the surveillance cameras? Surveillance camera? Oh my god, they've got different spellings. I think I've got the right one. How dare they? That's to trick us if we're gonna go down with fast speed. Jiminy Christmas. Yes, baby, let's get out of here. I am done with this place. I am done with it. Let's do this. Please tell me that's the last. Please tell me that's the last one. I can't be doing any more logic drives. It's the, I hate that game. Got it. You use the surveillance cameras. You were trying to lure the Future Foundation by showing them the footage you were recording, weren't you? The surveillance cameras? That's what they were being used for? In the previous Killing School Life, the surveillance camera footage was broadcast outside of the school. Haha, <laughs> the typhoon. You I love it. You used the cameras that were placed throughout the entire island for the same purpose. Ding, ding, ding! I was broadcasting the Killing School trip live to every member of the Future Foundation. What a genius. The horrible genius. The footage you recorded with the surveillance cameras was shown to the Future Foundation? Yeah. What shall I do? I did a lot of disgraceful things in front of those cameras. What did you do, baby girl? I, I got to know. You sure did. Oh, he's blushing. It must have been real nasty. I will never be queen now. Please forget what you saw. So you guys were watching us? Then why didn't you come rescue us earlier? Exactly. We tried to hack in many times. But the virus within the program blocked us at every turn. So how are you able to get in now? Not only that, the Neo World program stopped accepting shutdown commands from the outside. As a last resort, we considered cutting power to the program, but... That would rip us all, right? We didn't know what would happen to the subjects if we cut the power while the program was still running. There's no way we'd jeopardize your safety by taking such a gamble. Even so, we kept trying over and over again until it was finally possible for us to enter the program just a short time ago. And you came all the way here when you knew it was a trap. I get it. You couldn't just leave them alone. If you saw people dying one by one with your own eyes by the same killing game you guys played, hope dictates that you act all high and mighty and say, Oh, I'm definitely gonna stop it this time, right? Hey. Don't tell me that's the reason you made us go through all this. That's what she keeps calling us chumps and pawns. She doesn't care about us. Monokuma referred to it as earlier on as well. Of course we made you do it for that reason. We orchestrated this game instead of killing you outright solely to show it off to the Future Foundation. We were forced to solve puzzles and riddles just so you could show it off to the Future Foundation? That's why you guys are chumps. You're just the bait I use to catch a big fish called the Future Foundation. Don't you dare call me a chump. But it's not my fault, you know. Yes, it is. This game is a fight between the Future Foundation and me. You guys were just instigators in the background. But you guys already knew that when you chose to play this game, right? What? Just one second, please. That sounds as though we... As though we wanted to come to this world of our own free will. But that's precisely the truth. Huh? You guys chose to be instigators, and you were willingly taken into the Neo World program to provide the opportunity I needed to push this battle between hope and despair into overtime. That's right. The reason the ultimate despairs began killing each other was set up by the group itself. What? That's just your imagination. Ah, uh, naive Makoto totally fell for the trap. Oh, and now your face is filled with a lovely shade of despair! Whoa, that despair is f***ing obvious! You're here to rescue the souls who set this up in the first place! What? Don't go blaming us for this! Thank you! It's all thanks to you guys! This time around, I might be able to fill these guys with despair! We do not feel despair. Even if this was all a trap, we will never regret coming here. And this is the only thing we could do to stop you. But, nevertheless, it's all over. We will shut you down and end all of this. You're pretty f***ing desperate! Oh, that's pretty f***ing obvious. If you don't initiate the shutdown, those future Foundation f***ing wits are gonna be trapped here forever! Trapped? Why would that happen? <laughs> Didn't I already explain it? You know, the graduation exam rule? What? There are two options! Graduate and 
repeat, right? You just have to choose one of them and press it. All of you will cast your vote and whichever one has the majority will be considered your final decision. But that's not all, right? In order to pass the graduation exam, there was one more requirement. Oh, uh, Monokuma has to approve it. The other requirement to pass the graduation exam is... Oh, the teacher's final decision. Let's see. No. No. As I recall, we also need the teacher's final decision. No. To participate in the graduation program, you need my permission as your acting teacher, you know? What? Does that mean it won't end with just a majority vote? No, oh, after the vote, I'm going to judge every single one of you to see if it's okay for you to graduate or not. So, even if we vote, you're saying we won't graduate unless you acknowledge it. Obviously, there's no way I'd let the members of the Future Foundation graduate. Holy ass. So, if you can't activate the shutdown, the Foundation will enter the endless life of repeating the grade. <laughs> that's only if the shutdown sequence doesn't activate, right? But that's impossible. Everyone here understands how dangerous it is to release you into the real world. We know that. All too well. But, but you're, the, the, the despair that's been filled with us, the fact that we're ultimate despair, that our bodies are mutilated, the fact that we've ripped our own families, some people might want to stay here. I mean, she's been bad-mouthing us this whole time. Oh. It looks like you shouldn't have talked so much. Out of the mouth comes evil, so they say. It's true that we fell for this trap, and that we run the risk of not being able to go back. But what's wrong with that? Thinking we'd back down because of something like that is a huge mistake. That's my line. Thinking your little shutdown plan will succeed is a huge mistake. Huh? You're totally overestimating those chumps over there. There's no way they'll start the shutdown sequence. Why not? Look upon their faces. They look like piglets who were forced to watch their mom roasting on a spit. There's no way they'll initiate the shutdown just to go back to being ultimate despair. That is... well... Don't be a weakling. Junko, I don't care what you say. I've decided to believe in everyone. It's true that they walked the wrong path before, but that's all in the past now. Yes. What I believe in is not their past, but their futures. Yes, Makoto! What you do to me, I will never fall into despair. Oh, wrong, wrong. I'm not the one who's gonna make you fall into despair. It's gonna be us. That's the mastermind's job. What? And they'll be appearing very soon. Who's who's the mastermind? Mastermind. Mastermind. Someone else is coming. What? That can't be. It's just a bluff. Yes, it is. You should never make the last character who appears in a detective story turn out to be the mastermind. But I always fell into that pattern, so I was kind of worried about that. What? Enough already. What are you talking about? Yeah, what the hell are you talking about? Who the- I thought you were the mastermind! You were the mastermind in the first game, so what? Oh well. Let's bring him out with lots of energy. It's Mr. Izuru Kamakura! I should have known. I should have known. Izuru. Kamakura? That name, I've heard it before. That person was called the Ultimate Hope. But that shouldn't be all he was. That's right, I've seen a person called Izuru Kamakura somewhere else. As I recall, that person was the founder of the Academy. I see. Why? Izuru Kamakura? Isn't that the name of the founder of Hope's Peak Academy? What? It was written on the placard beneath the portrait of the Academy's founder. That name. It was definitely Izuru Kamakura, right? However, based on the information I know, the man known as Izuru Kamakura... If I recall, he's a super genius who acquired many talents. He was even called the Ultimate Hope, right? Oh, man. Huh? Does the founder have the same name as that Ultimate Hope guy? No, they're the same. Is that kind of coincidence even possible? The Future Foundation might know something, right? How about it, Kyoko? Even within Hope's Peak Academy, there's very little information about a person called Izuru Kamakura. It's a mystery if such a person ever really existed. And not just that, the matter was closed without ever being settled because of that incident. If you do not know, then please allow me. 
Providing hopelessly skilled explanations is a quirk of mine. <laughs> the reason Izuru's existence continues to be such a mystery is because the Academy hid it. Well, we learned that. Why did the Academy hide his existence? If I recall, they were trying to protect their superior talent. They even called it Mankind's Hope, correct? However, that prodigious student ended up killing 13 student council members at Hope's Peak Academy. Izuru is the killer responsible for Hope's Peak Academy's biggest, most awful event. And you're the one who set it up, right? Information about Izuru completely vanished after that incident. <sighs> we thought Junko and Ashima killed them? Don't say such cruel things. Izuru Kamakura is very much alive. Yes. Isn't that right, Hajime? What? Huh? What? I am. What? What? Like I said, you're Izuru Kamakura. What? I'm. What? What? I'm the mastermind? Huh? No. No, that can't be right. Already? If you don't understand. Hold on! Seriously, what are you talking about? No, 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 no. Liar! There's no way. There's no way Hajime is Izuru Kamakura! I'm the bad guy! Izuru is that ultimate hope, right? But Hajime is That's why we have no talent. That's why we have no talent. That's why our talent was hidden. That's why we were just a, a member of the reserve corps student. Because that was all hidden. It was all hidden from Hope Speak Academy. I was just par. I, I, I was just buried, snowballed under, so nobody would even notice me at the school, but I'm really the ultimate hope. That's right. Hajime is one of those reserve course dropouts and has no talent whatsoever. But the fact that he's really Izuru Kamakura makes all this much more hopeless. I'm Isuru Kamakura. What? I, 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 I've got a, what? What was my argument here? What was my argument here? I, I don't understand. Vision of Nagato. Oh, I, I, I don't, I don't understand. L let, let's, let's just go with this one. Good news, Hajime. What? Even though you were mocked for being a reserve course student, he had a talent all along. Ultimate hope. Okay. How can someone from the reserve course? Have such an amazing talent like that. Because it was hidden. Haven't you heard anything? In order to hide Izuru's identity. Was he hidden in the reserve course? Oh, this is ridiculous. This is the ridiculous. Hajime's name is fake. What? Th there's no doubt I'm Hajime Hinata. What? I've always had that name ever since I was born. But well, yeah. Izuru is your fake name? Hey, you weren't lying to us, right? I'm so confused. I do not want any more last minute plot twists. Well, I'm afraid there is one. He created hope. What could be easily? What? I'm so confused what I'm supposed to do here. I'm the ultimate hope. Then the current me and Izuru Kamakura are. What did Hope Speak Academy do to me? Good news, Hajime! No, there is no good news here. Everything is so confusing and I'm completely lost. Thank you very much for that, girl! For many years, Hope Speak Academy attempted to create true hope by consolidating the results of all the research. Create hope. Yes, I'm sure create hope was mentioned by, um, Makoto. Okay, we'll go with this one. Yes, yes it is, yes it is, yes it is, yes it is! No, it is, it's right! Oh! It's gotta be, it's gotta be, it's gotta be this! Created hope. Are you talking about the hope cultivation plan? Hope cultivation plan. What is that? <laughs> we know something you don't, Biakuya. A while back, I saw a file kept by the Future Foundation. For many years, Hope's Peak Academy was researching a breakthrough plan to cultivate personal talent. It's true, it was a breakthrough plan. After all, it was a plan to create the perfect genius. Create? For the longest time, the Hope Cultivation Plan was the earnest wish of Hope's Peak Academy. In fact, that's why the Academy was established. Part of that plan was researching the talents of Ultimates. Because the plan was so important, they adopted the name of the Academy's founder, and called it the Izuru Kamakura Project. Izuru Kamakura Project? So, basically, my- I'm not the original Izuru, I'm a- 
a created thing? Just a little while ago, they were finally able to reach the experimental stage of that plan. From there, they set their sights on the reserve course dropouts to use them as lab rats. What? Why did they use the reserve course as lab rats? Because they were expendable. A plan to create talent artificially requires test subjects oh. that are wholly lacking in talent. From that group of reserve course students, the one who was finally chosen was... Hajime, who stands before you now. Why me? Because you admired Hope's Peak Academy more than anybody else. Huh? You still don't get it. You were used by the Academy. They exploited your feelings of admiration toward hope and talent just to use you as a lab rat. What? See, didn't I tell you? The moment you cling to talent and hope, despair has already set in. Lies. That's definitely a lie. And after many surprises, Hajime Hinata was transformed into Izuru 1.0. But it went wrong, didn't it? Did you say transformed? What did they do to him? Unless you're willing to go to extremes, it's impossible to change a normal person into a perfect genius. So naturally, they went to extremes. What did they do to me? What? They actually- By directly interfering with his brain, Hope's Peak Academy transformed Hajime Hinata into a completely different person whose specialty is talent itself, known as Izuru Kamakura. Eventually, Izuru became an ultimate despair, thanks to me. But all I did to Izuru was simply break his spirit. What? That's nothing compared to what Hope's Peak Academy did to him. Not even close. Seriously, it's scary how determined the researchers were to mess with the human brain that much. They actually put probes in my brain. Did they keep the probes in there? Is that, is that, is that what it's saying? They left probes in me that messed about with my... My hormones! Doing such inhumane acts that nobody else is capable of with such a calm mind and a steady hand. I admire it so much, it makes my mind numb. I don't get it. I don't get it. They've totally By missed- the way, you're just a simple avatar right now. So even if you touch your head, you won't feel the scar. Did they really do something like that? But if you think about it, Hajime gets out of here. He's gonna be a super genius, right? Right! Like I said, he's not Hajime. He's a completely different person whose specialty is talent itself. D different person? How is he different? Yeah. All of his senses, emotions, thoughts, and hobbies that interfere with acquiring talent have been excised. What? Huh? Removed. All of his memories of the past have been forcefully suppressed into the darkest recesses of his mind. Huh? Emotions? Thoughts? Hobbies? He doesn't even have a memory? It sounds like he is a completely different person. So that's why it's so surprising that Hajime even exists here at all. Even if he's just an avatar. The Neo World program must have dug up those memories and rebuilt his old personality from data from the past. I cannot help but feel impressed that the Neo World program was able to accomplish such a feat. But as for Hajime, he probably would have been better off if he stayed erased. What? Then... When Hajime returns to his original state after the shutdown, he'll disappear. D disappear? All that will remain is Izuru Kamakura, an entirely different personality created by Hope Speak Academy. Those monsters! He will no longer be Hajime Hinata. What the hell? Disappear. I'm going to disappear? Disappear. Disappear. Disappear! Disappear, disappear, disappear! Disappear, 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 disappear! Disappear! What is happening? Am I am I actually disappearing? Am I actually cause because I'm actually remembering what's What the hell? But no matter what happens, it's no concern to me. I will not be able to participate in what lies ahead. Hmm? Really? I don't really understand, but I guess we'll have to part ways for a while. That's disappointing. We seem to get along pretty well. Hey, can I see you again? There's no reason to meet again. After all, you are boring. Your talent, your thoughts, your entire existence is boring to me. You really don't play along, do you? Wow, I was completely different. I had long hair for a start. I think it was a different color. What's that? Me? No, that's 
That's not me! That's what you are. That's who Izuru Kamakura is. You're the one who brought me into this world. You're Izuru Kamakura, the mastermind behind all of this. Huh? Could it be? The one who uploaded you into the Neo World program was- Oh! It's not me! Just so you know, as long as your brain has been messed with, you can't undo it no matter how hard you try. Huh? Have no way to be saved, you say? But you already know what you must do. I do? I already know how I can be saved. Submit to Junko, become the black, and choose repeat. No? Wait, what? What? Choose graduate. I, I see. I just need to choose graduate then. Huh. Huh? Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, that's bad, that's bad, that's bad. In that case, the Hajime avatar will be uploaded into his real body. So, Hajime will be safely reborn. Oh. Truly a royal road to a hopeless happy ending. Oh dear. Oh no, Hajime, you gotta stay strong, my dog. Hold on, you can't do that. Uh, if you do that, everyone who died will be taken over by Junko's alter ego. You gotta stay strong, my dude. If you guys don't start the shutdown, the Future Foundation will be trapped here. I can't allow the Future Foundation to sacrifice themselves for the ultimate despairs. Jeez, you should have said so before. You guys aren't honest at all. That's not it. What we're saying is, we have to protect the world from despair, you say? Okay, okay, that's getting so old. Do you really have to sacrifice yourselves just to protect the world in the first place? What if the world's hope is different from your hope? Even if the world is happy, it's meaningless if you aren't happy. This. Plus, the Future Foundation wants to kill all the Ultimate Despairs, right? Once you go back to being Ultimate Despair, the Future Foundation's punishment time will activate. Kinky. It would be absolutely dreadful if that were to happen. Not just dreadful. It's rather f***ing hopeless, don't you think? <laughs> and can you guys even endure that? Everything that happened here will just end up being a meaningless game. Everything you felt, Aw, friendship, love. There won't even be save data left of it. The girl you love and the guy you hate grow weaker and skinnier each day they lay immobilized. And in Hajime's case, his very existence is going to disappear. All because of the academy he loves so much. Will you be able to endure such despair? Who are you going to endure it for? For people you've never met before? For people who don't even appreciate you? Does that sound like hope to you? You can't believe her! That's how she works! That's what she does. So she can lure you all toward despair. It makes sense though. There is no reason to listen to her. Hurry up and start the shutdown. Oh, hold on! What is it? Why are we still waiting? Do you still not understand what's going to happen to the real world if Junko escapes? Something's not right. No, I, I was just... How many victims do you think the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history is claimed? I, I don't know. Right now, it's finally started to calm down. If Junko Inoshima makes it to the real world, countless victims will fill the streets. The world will regress to an era of bloodshed, chaos, and worldwide rioting. How's a schoolgirl done this? So that's why you're telling them to start the shutdown sequence? To prevent that? You're telling them to turn back into ultimate despair and lose all the memories they made in this world. Even among them, there are those who will simply cease to exist. And you're telling them to just deal with it? Oh dear. She's a manipulative little witch, ma'am. At this point, this is the only way. No, no, no. There is another way. What? As long as they choose to graduate, they can pass along their avatar's memories, and everyone here will be able to hold hands and keep on living. Well, everyone who died will be taken over by me, but don't you think that's a better fate than being a vegetable for the rest of their life? Mm. Mm. You guys, you can't buy into this. Think carefully about which is true hope. And which is true despair. This is a difficult decision, man. If you were put in this position, it'd be very hard. What shall we do? You, obviously the sensible option is to do the shutdown, but... You're asking us? You're telling us to decide? 
Damn it! Why'd it turn out like this? Wait, what? We've actually got we've actually got to do something now. If everyone can overcome despair. What? What's happening to my health? Be able to grasp true hope. If our memories up until now disappear, I will not even remember the reason everybody died. Oh man. Are you really going to let her take over your friends' bodies? No. You might think I'm a fool, but I want to see Peko one more time. No, dog, you're if just in love. We turn back into ultimate despair. The Future Foundation might kill us, right? Yeah, pretty we much. We won't let them do that. How can you? Do you have control, this is though? All the Future Foundation's fault. They're the ones who stuck us in this messed up world. Come on, For your come protection. On. What? If Junko escapes to the real world, there will be countless victims again. Yeah, yeah, there will. Uh, we can't, know, we can't, we, we can't, we can't be selfish. We can't be selfish everyone's here. Everyone's hope is in conflict. We, can, we can't be selfish Such here. Despair. Okay, shoot it. What? 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 Graduate or shut down? The world or me? Hope or despair? They're telling us to choose. To choose between that? Why? Why do we have to choose? What am I supposed to do? What? What am I supposed to do here? What? 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 What's happening? What's happening? I- I- What? What? I can't do it. Huh? No. No, dog. No. I can't do it? No, don't do this. I can't choose. You guys are telling us the world's going to be destroyed unless we sacrifice ourselves. We're gonna do and it. And that? I can't decide. I can't- Choose either one. Hajime! Shut up! Leave me alone! This... This is just too much! Why do I... Why do I have to be a part of this? I mean... I'm different from the rest of you. And I don't even have a talent! But even so... I got dragged into this. And now... My existence is going to disappear? <laughs> I don't understand it at all. Both choices... Are hopeless. How much of ourselves do we have to sacrifice? This burden. Don't you dare make us shoulder it. There's no way we can handle this on our own. Everyone, get a hold of yourselves. It's impossible! For someone like me, it's impossible. I can't choose the future! Hope, despair, do whatever you want. It's not my problem! That's... And there's no answer. So you've chosen to make no choice at all. Jeez. Once again, this went exactly as I expected. I get so hopelessly bored when everything goes according to plan. Okay then, girl. How, how, how about I just punch you in the, in the eye? Did you factor that into your little game? Oh well. Since I have everyone's data, I kind of figured things would play out like this. What? That is, unless something else hopelessly unpredictable happens. Come on, come on. Something happens. Something happens. Well, I can say that. But the chance of something convenient happening is hopeless. After all, this is a game. A world where everything progresses with predetermined harmony. Fine. I guess it's okay. You don't have to force yourself to make a choice. A futureless future. Hm, I think it's fine if that exists too. As long as you don't yearn for hope, you'll never fall victim to despair. That goes for me too. As long as I don't yearn for despair, I'll never need to hope for it. So, let's all free ourselves from this curse and stay here as the best of friends. Let's immerse ourselves in this tropical island life forever and ever. Forever and ever 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 and ever. No, you creeping me out, girl. What? What is she doing? What are you what are you doing? Stop it. Stop it now. No, we don't want to stay here forever. I I, I want to go. I want to go. I, I'll press the command. I'll press the shutdown command. Just let me go. Coconut, say. Beautiful seas. Maybe some seagulls and a, a mojito on the beach. Oh, everyone's here. Everyone's alive. Oh. Got... All right. A oh. Reset. Oh, yeah. This sounds and good. With this, the world will continue to loop. Yay! The eternal game utopia sounds like fun. Does sound like fun. I guess it's fine to stay like this for a while. Yeah, sure, why not? Get a time. Oh, master, that is a wise call. Oh dear, they're gonna get freaky. Yay! You didn't have to forget us! 
No, that's fine. Yes, We're... there's no way I would forget. Oh, this sounds good. This is good. I like this, it. Junko is gone. Yeah! Relax, All baby. Right. Let's party. Sounds good to me. I want to showcase my full cooking ability. As long as you don't showcase anything Just else, you're perfect. The BGM to your I don't know what that is. Is that music? Hey, can I take a picture to commemorate this? Okay, I'll pose for you. Want to be awed by the sight of my prowess? <laughs> okay, let's do it. Show I me your prowess. you a training regiment. I'm not interested in that. Ooh, if you get hurt, let me know. And sent Skinky. Should I begin with a brief introduction of myself? Oh my god. <laughs> After all this time? <laughs> Banter. What was this again? Oh, well, there's no need to think about it. I wanted this ending. A good ending. All I like right. it. A game reset. Okay, it looks like and I gotta this, shoot. The world will continue to loop. Yeah, wish Jackie's. I've gotta shoot it, don't Eternal I? Eternal game utopia sounds like fun. No, let's. No. What? What am I doing? I don't understand what I'm supposed to do here. That's not it. You what? You guys aren't part of the game, right? What? What? Where was that secret part? Where? Why was that at the end? What, 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 what was that? I, I gotta go back to there. Check, he's breaking you the game here. Part of the game, Just memorize right? this, memorize this, memorize it. Ain't part of the game, ain't part of the game. Let's do this. Let's go through this again. Let's do it. There we are. Shoot it there. There we are. Contain. There we go. There we go. There we go. Break through this mirage. Break through, baby. Huh? Who are you? Jackie. It's Jackie. Jackie's trying to break it. Oh, she's coming back to help us. Help us, Jackie. I'm just a part of the game. But you guys aren't, right? Jackie? Is that you? Why are you here? She's there help to save us, man. Hmm. I don't know. Does this mean you're my memory of Chiaki? Because you should have already disappeared. Oh well, it doesn't matter. Anyway, don't you think they're messed up? Telling us the world's going to be destroyed? And to sacrifice ourselves? There's no way I can choose. For someone like me, I'm just not able to choose. Seriously, I've had enough. I'm tired of being mixed up in all this stuff I don't understand. Not only was I told that I have no talent at all, but if I get out, I'll go back to being ultimate despair. And not only that, we'll just lose Hajime. And on top of that, I was told I'm going to disappear too. Isn't that messed up? Hey, you don't want that either, right? I mean, if we lose our memories, there won't be a single trace of your existence left. You're going to completely disappear. And none of us will ever remember you. No, I won't. What? Huh? Even if I cease to exist, even if you guys never remember me again, that doesn't mean I will completely disappear. As long as everyone continues to move forward toward the future we created together, it's adorable. I will never disappear. What I lived for, fought for, and risked my life for will still exist. You're right, but... You're... Probably just scared, right? Not just of disappearing. You're scared of moving toward the future with such a heavy burden, right? Yeah. I'm scared. I'm obviously terrified of that. How much longer are you going to be this indecisive? What? Huh? Don't scold me. Didn't you want to become someone with confidence? Isn't that why you admired Hope's Peak Academy? But even Hope's Peak Academy tricked me. Hajime, you've had it wrong this whole time. Wrong? Having talent isn't the goal. There's something much more important than whether or not you have talent, right? What's important is that you believe in yourself. Oh, so cheesy, but I love it. If you can't do that, no matter how much talent you possess, you will never be confident in yourself. Just like how you were in the past. You? Hey, who are you? I mean, you should have already disappeared, right? But past Hajime is in the past. He's not the same Hajime who spent time with me and the others in this world. So it's going to be alright. I think it's time you finally had confidence in yourself. Ichiaki, can you tell me something? Which... Which choice should I make? My hope? The world's hope? Which one should I choose? They're the same dog. You guys are the only ones 
who have the right to decide your future. And the responsibility, too. So you're saying I should choose for myself? But if you can't choose either future, why don't you just create one? Create? Even if this world is just a game, you guys aren't part of the game. You guys don't have to just choose a future. You should be able to create one as well. Do you think someone like me can do that? Since you're not part of the game, you don't have to worry about talent, skill, or level. You guys have a tremendous ultimate move that can overcome anything. We do? I guess what I'm trying to say is, if you just do it, things will turn out okay. <clears throat> if I do it, things will turn out okay. I hope that's right. Of course. Games aren't very fun when they're easy to clear. Well, that's true. But this isn't a game, right? Hey, Hajime, this isn't for the sake of anyone else. You... You have to do this for yourself. Now then, it's about time you show me your cool side, Hajime. Huh? Come on, I'll help out too. The cool side? Oh no, 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 you're gonna release my... Don't release I Izuru. No! No! I have no talent at all. What? What? I was even betrayed by the academy I admired so much. Oh no! I don't want to disappear. Okay. Okay, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta steal one of these. Who cares what will happen to the world? Okay. I don't want to sacrifice myself. There's gotta be in here somewhere. It's not like, like I'll be appreciated anyway. Oh, uh, it's in here somewhere. I've, I've gotta There's be in no here. There's no way we can beat Junko. Yes, there is. There is, there is. It's the Future Foundation's fault. Okay. Okay. Not mine. Right? I can't choose the future. Yes, you can. Yes, you can, big dog. See? If you just do it, things will turn out okay. Do what? You should even be able to create the future. No, give me that. Give me that. Give me the create the future. Give me create the future. That's what I need. That's what I need. But where to use it? Is this... This... Is me? This is really me? So uncool. It's totally uncool. Right, I've got to shoot this. I've got to shoot this somewhere. I've got to shoot this somewhere. I'm going to create a bright future here. A hope-filled boner future. Have I got to shoot it? Oh! Betrayed by the academy, oh! Just shoot them all! I don't we're, disappear. we're going gung-ho, baby! Just shoot them all! Oh, no, you're not. Well, okay, this is it. Who shoot them all. To the yes, I care, baby. I care. I Let's shoot them all. Myself. Get out of here. Jackie, thank you very it's much, baby like girl, for helping me out. Any. Thank you, baby girl, for There's helping no me. Yes, there is. We can destroy it's them the all. We can get Even them. So Don't worry. Mine. This is it. Even so, I can't yes, we're getting louder. Future. Get louder, baby. Even Speak so loud and proud. Speak loud and proud, Hajime. Speak loud and proud, baby. Yes. No matter what kind of future it is, as long as you guys move toward it, I will never disappear. Everything that happened here, it won't be meaningless. If you guys carried the burden of both hope and despair, you should even be able to create the future. Even if it's a convenient miracle, if you just do it, things will turn out okay. That's why you can't hesitate now. Resolve to throw everything away and give it everything you got. I'll be cheering for you too. Thanks, Jackie. Thank you. Don't disappear. Oh no, you rip again. That reminds me. Forgot to say it again. Yeah, for I say goodbye. Again, Hajime, you're useless. Or Izuru, whatever I want to call you. Awaken. Okay. Oh, okay. Just gotta keep keep tapping. Okay. Oh yes. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Okay. I'm, I'm tapping, baby. I'm tapping. I'm tapping. I'm tapping. I'm tapping. Tap, 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 tap. Just keep tapping. Let me awake. We're almost there. If we don't rid the world of despair. We're almost there. We're almost there. We're almost there. We'll start once again. Come on. My arms get tired. I want to see Becca one more time. No, wake up, wake up, wake up! I'm awake! We turn back into ultimate I'm awake! Despair. I'm awake! Let me shoot! You might be killed by the future foundation. No, right? we're not gonna be killed. We're not gonna be killed. This is your responsibility, since you're the ones who fell to despair. Yes, you have okay. It's not my responsibility. We're all we're all it's the future foundations. Oh we are we what's happened to their eyes? They hope and they're both despair. What? A conclusion will never be Reach. There, there, shoot that, shoot that, shoot that! Oh, I've got to hold it, I've got to get that hope this phone horizon! Since you're the ones who fell to despair. You can't lose hope! If the memories we made here just will not even remember. Oh, oh! I'm just automatically shooting! I'm doing nothing! Echo one more 
we turn back into we might be killed by the this is your responsibility it's not the responsibility it's the future foundation they're both hope and they're both a conclusion will never oh we destroyed her we destroyed her right no that's wrong whoa hajime nice hair what why is my hair like that have i just, just be hope there will probably be a lot of despair too I don't know what kind of future awaits us. I've awakened. But our futures are ours. I won't let anyone take them. Yes! Huh? Who the hell are you? Iziru! I've decided. I'm done running away. I will fight for my future. I will fight alongside the future that everyone created for me. It's not for anyone else's sake but my own. Oh, um, hope, baby. Don't tell me. Izuru? Yup. Hey, what the heck is going on? I is this a serious bug or something? Getting getting scared, baby? I am not Izuru Kamakura. I am Hajime Hinata. Yes, boy. Yes, just break through it all. Oh, rebuttal showdown. Okay. Future. You despair because you yearn for hope. You yearn for hope because you despair. No, no. Let's don't finish this already. Don't There's bother. No need for you to choose. Close your eyes and cover your ears. Just shut the hell up. No, I'm gonna. This game is gonna continue. You don't want that? Just turn off the game. Advance, baby. So I. You don't have to look at the hopeless future. Oh wait! Oh no no no! I needed to do that. Okay, I just needed to slice through it. How many times? Okay, okay, I got this. You don't have to look at the hopeless future. Bye, baby. Anyone choose again? This is it. It's over. It's over. Just, just give up. Just give up, Junko. Just give up. It's done. It's done. You're done for. Just give up. Paddock talk action. Really? I've got to do this now? Oh, we should just give up. Don't mess with me, girl. I'm going to wreck it. Don't even think about it. I don't care about the future. I don't care about you. I don't care about what you've done. Give up already. I'm about to wreck your ass, girl. Stop crying. Stop changing your personalities. You're a nutter. Get wasted, girl. Get out of here. Okay. That's wrong. That's wrong. It's wrong. Oh, Jackie's coming. Jackie, come on, help us out, girl. Help us out, girl. Help us out, Jackie. Let's do this. What the heck is wrong with you? Why is there a bug like this all of a sudden? Everyone, let's shut this game down. Huh? Don't you get it? If we start the shutdown sequence, we'll... Jackie's gonna help us. There's only one choice to make. There's no way I'll allow things to end this way. The future everyone has created for us should have more possibilities than that. Let's leave this place with confidence. And from there, we can just create it on our own. The future that we want. Yes. What are you saying? There's no way something that convenient is going to happen. Oh, baby, it, it is. strange if a miracle happened. This isn't a game. We can change the future as much as we want. Even if you talk big, if you leave here, you're just going to forget everything. Th that goes for everyone else. Um... We just have to press these two buttons at the same time, correct? Hell yes, Sonya! Um, I wonder. I do not really understand it myself, but... I just... I just saw it. So what? Oh, when you felt it! my body felt so heavy that I could not move. When I felt as though I was sinking into a deep black sea, it was at that moment I somehow heard Hajime's voice. And though it was just a flash, I saw it. Let's do it! Let's do this, baby! We're gonna solve this! Like a lighthouse beacon shining across an ocean of darkness. A warm, yet resolute light. The one who shined that light, it was probably... Let's do this. You saw it too, right, Hajime? Jackie. The future we are going to create from this moment on. It is also the future that everyone has created, right? Then... There is no way we can stop now. Hell yeah, girl. Seriously, that's a suicidal decision. No, it's not, Junko. I'm well aware it might be an act of suicide. There's no telling how this will play out, but... I... I heard her voice. Oh. In fact, I think it was the first time she ever yelled at me. I can't stand on my own two feet if she keeps treating me like a damn kid. Exactly, man. I don't like thinking about complicated stuff. If there's someone strong worth fighting, I'll fight. It's just who I am, you know? Let's do this, That's Kenny. That's means to be confident, right? Hell then, yeah. I'm gonna choose this. My girl, my girl. Man, this sure is getting annoying again. But <laughs> if you're saying you're gonna do it, 
There's no way I can back out now. That's my point. Yes. If I don't have any place to go back to, I should at least protect this place no matter what. That's my boy. Sold up my man. You all? Why? Why? How? How can you guys throw yourselves back into the depths of despair? Because we believe. Huh? We believe in our future. That's what makes us different from you. We believe that if we try new things, even difficult things, that everything will turn out okay. We believe we can even create our own futures. That's... that's impossible! That can't be hope! It's not even despair! What is this?! It's game over, baby! Me. Everyone, thank you. You're welcome, mate. I'm not the one you should be thanking. Huh? Chucky. She was the one that saved us. Oh, the, please give me an A. Please give me an A. Please give me an A. The scores are okay. The scores are okay. Give me an A. Give me an A just to finish the whole series off. Give me an A to finish it all off, please. Yay! <laughs> Your boy aced it. Your boy aced it. Now that's what I call hope, baby. Let's get started. Let's do this. I didn't think it would end this easily. It wasn't easy, mate. I've been recording for two hours. Huh? It's not the end, right? Just the beginning, baby. This is just the beginning. Right? Hell yeah! First, we need to let this game world end. And from that point on, we are the ones who are going to create. A hopeful world, baby! Or or a normal world, one that's got hope and despair and it's just not an unbalanced version of either. Oh, Usami? Oh! Right in there. Oh, really? Usami? Oh, you got your magic wand! Ricker! 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 Oh! Delete, 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 delete her! Delete her, Sammy! Oh, right in that- oh, yes, 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 yes! Finish her off. <gasps> right in her forehead?! Jiminy Christmas, you Sammy, you monster! Time to go to sleep, Junko. Ooh, Sammy's revenge! Oh, shining rainbow. <laughs> You get her, Usami. You get her. Tie her up. Oh, the jiggle physics. Thought this wasn't fan service. Oh! What a cracking finale. Love, love! And there she is. Ripped. Finally, Junko has been ripped. <laughs> Man, this is absolute despair. I feel despair upon despair and despair toward despair yet again. How fun. Once you've experienced the despair I've suffered, <laughs> there's no turning back. Living in the shadows of past memories. That's too sad, you know? <sighs> but I guess... I no longer, I no longer have to <laughs> hope for despair. No, you don't, because you've just been ripped, girl. Is just so hopeless. Oh wow! Oh wow! That's it. Ripped, gone. What was that just now? Why did Usami appear? She should have already disappeared. I guess. It's just as Hajime said. At least, this wasn't the ending prepared for them. This was the ending they created. Hell yeah! Are you saying they're moving towards such an uncertain future on purpose? Yep. Even so, the only thing we can do now is leave it to them. Just what? Graduate now? This game world is going to end soon. There is nothing more we can do. Regardless, there's no need for us to do anything. We made our own option. Do they just go? They can just leave now. So do we choose graduate? Oh, it's Man, it's collapsing. You're right. Um, I am sorry to trouble everyone, but even if we awaken in the real world and forget about what transpired here, it will still have meaning, right? Always. Of course, Miss Sonia. I don't know the proper way to say this, but I, I kind of feel the same way too. You're so bad at explaining things. 
Now that it's the end, you should at least try a little harder. Yeah. People can't change that easily, you know. Well, whether it has meaning or not, it all depends on us now. Time's almost up. I'm pretty scared. I am scared too. But it's okay, right? It makes sense to feel scared, right? Right. That's the future. Yes, Minnie Maru. Hey, I'll never forget you guys. Or the others. Same. You guys better remember me too. My name is Kazuichi Soda. <laughs> With your colorful personalities, there's no way I'd forget you guys that easily. Even if I forget, I will use all my might and remember. If you start talking weird later, Hajime, I'll beat you up till you turn back to normal. Sounds good, Kazuichi. That's a relief. But make sure you hold back as much as you can. You're a bit of a monster there, girl. How does this work now? So, this is the end. But, it's just the beginning. Isn't that right? It doesn't change how scared I am. I can't help feeling scared. So scared. But... Thank you. Thank you, Chiaki. Phew. I finally said it. Good man. It's about time you said thank you. Still haven't said goodbye though, buddy. <laughs> Still haven't said that goodbye. So what happens now? See if you leave me. Me too. Thank you. You're welcome, girl. Do you want your underwear back, by the way? I'll never forget about you guys. I'll never, ever forget. I'll be cheering for you guys from now on. From somewhere. Because we're all friends after all. Yeah, we are. Friends that ripped each other. Game game over? What? Chapter 6? I won though. I won. But this is the end. Goodbye, Academy of Despair. End. So, so give me, give me, give me some sort of happy ending. Give me, give, we, 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 what happened to us all? Please tell me. Please tell me. Don't you dare go to credits. Don't you. Present obtained? You have obtained the present giant cell phone. Oh, yes. Give me that. I'll just pop that in my back pocket. And so the incident is coming to an end. The incident riddled with absurdity, with nonsense, with sheer irrationality is about to lower its curtain. An incident smaller than Hope's Peak Academy's biggest, most tragic event. Smaller than the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. An incident so small it doesn't even have a name. The world will never know what happened here. Not now, not in the distant future. As long as they remain here. Apparently they've finished the preparations. We can leave any time. Then, I guess we should get going. Where are we going? Hey Makoto, is this really okay? You're the one who said, leave the questions to me. So I let you take the lead. Are they really going to be okay? Didn't they just turn back into ultimate despair? I don't think that's the case. I mean, if they did turn back, they wouldn't have said that they'd stay on this island. Oh, okay. Perhaps they're thinking about helping their sleeping friends. Oh. I can't really say for sure, but that's what I believe. Whether they know it or not, the fact that they're already clinging to that feeling shows they're no longer who they were in the past. It seems that there are too many soft-hearted people here. <laughs> but in reality, the possibility of those who are asleep waking up is close to zero. Oh dear. No, the possibility isn't a problem. Even if there's the smallest possibility, they're still trying to create that future for themselves. In their eyes, that is the future. The smallest possibility. You might as well call it a miracle. But strangely enough, I have a feeling that they'll be able to reach it. They've accepted their hopes and their despair. And they're trying to create their own future. Maybe, for people like that, miracles are inevitable. Don't you think? <laughs> as cheesy as ever. Seriously, you haven't grown up at all. Haven't grown up? That's the main reason we decided to come with you. Well, who cares? I guess I'll respect your decision this time. However, what comes next is going to be difficult for us. Leaving them on this island. If the higher-ups at HQ find out about this, it will definitely cause a scene. We need to work on concealing it. That's not a problem. And what do you intend to explain to HQ? Uh, um, about that. I was gonna think about it while I was on the ship. Brilliant. Good luck. 
I'm not going to help you that much. Huh? Why? You should at least be glad that we decided to respect your decision. Fine. Look at them. They do look more grown up than the first game. They do. Older. Then let's go back as well. We're not even close to finished yet. There's still a lot we must do. Besides the future foundation, the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history is not finished. We must end this once and for all. For the sake of the future. It seems I must fight alongside you all for a little while longer. Plus, there's someone waiting for you to return. Oh, really? Don't make me remember something so horrifying. Oh, yes, of course. Of course she's going to be there. Let's go. We must create our own futures, too. Yes, that is true, my dudes. That is true. Okay, so they're leaving us and on the so island. The ordeal has ended. Please show us what you look like. And from here, our daily lives have started. Lives that are much more absurd, nonsensical, and irrational than before. Things are probably going to be a lot more difficult now. There's no such thing as an answered mystery. It's doubtful whether or not things will even end well. But it's your future, right? You chose it. The future isn't a path. It's like an endless sea. You can try to go anywhere, but it doesn't mean you'll get there. Even so... I will keep on living. I will keep on living as Hajime Hinata. My boy. My boy! So your arms look intact? Have you got long hair? No! You've gone back to the way you looked before. What? Really? My future lies here. Yes. Yes, my boy. Epilogue. The day before the future? Ep we got an epilogue now? Really? Or was, or was that the end of the epilogue there? We're here to wake up our sleeping friends, or at least try and help them wake up in one, uh, in, in some way, shape, or form. So they're obviously still in their, their brain-dead state. So we, 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 the, our, our characters, the five of them, have decided to stay behind and hopefully help them out. Oh, this game was insane! I absolutely loved it. I absolutely had so much fun playing this series on the channel. It's, it's, it's definitely the best series, in my opinion, here to date. So guys, if you've watched every single episode and made it all the way to here, then thank you very much for making it such an enjoyable experience for me. Um, I don't know what to say about it, really. It was just so much fun. And the fact that we can move on to Ultra Despair Girls next is amazing. And we can also, we have, or, or at least I'm going to be given a copy of Danganronpa version 3. So whether I get that early or on game release, I will have the videos out for you the first day or hopefully slightly before, depending on how things go. But either way, we're definitely playing a, a Danganronpa V3 when it comes out. And I cannot wait to play it because this game has just been... I just love the mysteries. I, I I love the feelings towards the characters. I love doing the voice acting, even if some of the voices triggered you. I know they did. I know they did. But after a certain point, when you get through with the voices and you've done the voice for so long, I can't just suddenly change them. I know the voice for Akane didn't fit whatsoever, but I'm a boy. I can't do girls' voices that well, so forgive me for that one. Um, but I, I, I enjoyed acting through all this. You got all the feelings. I, I, I think I cried twice. There was the, um, the feels for Peko and Fuyuhiko's relationship. And then there was, it wasn't Mikan's one. Oh, who was the one? Oh, Gundam. That one. Balling like a baby boy. That's how I was feeling there. But overall, I loved it. I didn't expect the five that survived to be the five that survived. I, I, I don't know why, but for some reason I didn't. Obviously when you when you saw Fuyuhiko at the start, he was all gangster and trying to act hard and stuff. And I thought he would have been ripped ages ago because he was gonna be, I, I thought somebody might target him. I didn't think he would kill anyone, but I thought somebody might target him because he would maybe be a threat to other people. I thought Byakuya might live till the end because I didn't understand that he would be the, the ultimate imposter, which was crazy. Um, I thought Nick and Maru would last because he's such a big beefy boy. But it, overall, the game was just, it's just incredible. Like, Monokuma is an evil genius. The story, the twists and turns, it's just great. Uh, you can sort of see the, the road that the game leads you down at certain points. But overall, there, there, you, you, there's no way. It's, it's just, you can't guess everything. You can. Like, I knew certain parts, but then it just threw other parts at you out of nowhere as well. It was incredible to learn that we were ultimate despair and we were actually baddies at some point. I mean, that's just genius writing right there. So, waiting to see what's going to happen in D3 is going to be incredible. It's going to be absolutely incredible. I love it. 
What a story. What a story. Hey, Mon. Um, I don't speak Japanese, Monokuma, but I'm, I'm, I'm guessing you're saying that you called me a, a, a delightful beast. Okay. Uh, you obtained a present Easter egg. Okay. Because I stayed on till the end? Is that Usami? You have obtained Usami strap. Oh, we were supposed to get that at the start, but everybody threw them on the sand, didn't they? They didn't actually want them. Oh, that's adorable that we actually got that. What's this? You obtained a present Danganronpa IF? Danganronpa IF? What? What are all these gifts? Oh, okay. Back, back, back to the start. Island mode? What's this? This is an alternative storyline where Monokuma lost against Usami? What? Novel, you can read light novel Danganronpa if written by that amazing writer. Okay, there's a novel? Really? Oh, from the beginning? Character introduction? Wait, what? Is that trigger happy Danganronpa? The button of hope and the tragic warrior's despair character introduction? What is this? Oh, I- oh, wow! I don't know what this- I don't know what that is, but that seems- that seems like something we might be able to do at some point. And island mode as well seems like- I think that's like a dating simulator, if I remember correctly. Um, so, yeah! A, a dating sim? I don't know. Either way, guys, that was absolutely fantastic. That doesn't leave us with any clues as to what's happening for the third game or anything like that. I have seen the trailer, but I'm gonna go and watch it again just now. Because I'm hyped to see if it gives any clues about what's going to be happening in the next game. But either way, guys, if you enjoyed the series, please hit that like button. It really, really is appreciated. Um, let me know if you want to see the Ultra Despair Girls later on, I suppose, within the next week or so. We can start that ASAP. Or if you would like to see Undertale. I know a lot of people are going to be triggered by that. But at the same time, it's another game that I want to play at, at, at some point as well. So it might make sense to go to Ultra Despair Girls and hopefully finish that before the end of September. But I was worried we might not be able to do that. Either way, let me know um, down below. Thank you. Thank you for joining me on this journey. It's been absolutely fantastic. Either way, guys, I'm going to get out of here for the final time on Danganronpa 2. I've been Razbowski. You've been the beautiful Razbreeze. As always, for watching. And I love each and every single one of you. Goodbye!